Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kizla. In this video of polynomials, we shall be learning about factorization of cubic polynomials. Now what are cubic polynomials? Cubic polynomials are those polynomials which have degree 3, right? Degree 3 means their highest power of the variable in these polynomials is 3. Therefore, the de degree is 3. Therefore, they are called cubic polynomials. Now, how to factorize? There are two methods of factorization. In the first method, we are going to use factor method by hit and trial method. That means we are going to find the zeros of the polynomial as much as possible using hit and trial method. Again, factor method is there but followed by long division method. Here also we are going to use factor method but only for finding one zero and further we are going to use long division method. And further if we get quadratic equation we are also going to use splitting the middle term method which we use for quadratic polynomials. Right now let me take an example to illustrate both these methods. Now the first method is factor method using hit and trial. Right, our example is we have to factorize the polynomial px x cube minus 3x square minus 10x plus 24. This is the polynomial which we have to factorize. Now, what is the constant of this polynomial? Constant term in this polynomial is 24. Now, factors of this constant term can be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, plus minus 8, plus minus 12. Right, these are the factors of 24. Now, after identifying the factors of 24, our next step will be to find which of these above factors are the zeros of the given polynomial. That we will do by replacing x by these factors. And if the Pa, the polynomial in A terms comes 0, then we can say that x minus A is the factor of the given polynomial right so this is uh, what factor theorem says yes and now by hit and trial method we are going to find out which uh, factor is going to give us zero as the value of the given polynomial now let us replace x by 1 first and let us see whether we are getting zero or not so 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square minus 10 into 1 plus 24 is equal to 1 minus 3 minus 10 plus 24 which is equal to minus 12 plus 24 is equal to 12. Calculation part you can check later. Right now we will replace by minus 1. So minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 10 into minus 1 plus 24 which will give us minus 1 minus 3 plus 10 uh, because minus into minus will is plus and plus 24 then 6 plus 24 is 30. Now replace it by 2, 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square minus 10 into 2 plus 24. So 2 cube is 8, 3 into 4 is minus 12. We will get minus 10 into 2 is minus 20 plus 24, minus 24 plus 24 is 0. So finally we are getting 0 because minus 24 and plus 24 will get cancelled. So, this can be one of the factors. That means P2 is the 0 of the polynomial and therefore X minus 2 is one of the factors. So, one factor out of the three factors we have already calculated. Total will be three factors, right? Because the degree is 3 and the number of factors are dependent on the degree. So, one factor we have got it that is X minus 2. Let us uh, find out more factors by hit and trial method. That means we will insert more uh, factors uh, in place of x and find out whether we are getting 0 or not. So over here minus 2 if we will take minus 2 whole cube minus 3 into minus 2 whole square minus 10 into minus 2 plus 24. So over here minus 2 cube is minus 8 uh, minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 minus 10 and minus 2 will give you plus 20 plus 24 further uh, they will cancel and 0 and is equal to 24 right
Now moving further, we will replace x by 3, the next factor. So 3 cube minus 3 into 3 square minus 10 into 3 plus 24. 3 cube is 27. 3 into 3 square, that is 9. 3 into 9 is minus 27, minus 30 plus 24. Further, when you solve it, you will get... Uh, uh, this will get cancelled. So you are left with minus 30 plus 24 minus 6. Now replace by minus 3 minus 3 cube minus 3 into minus 3 whole square minus 10 into minus 3 plus 24. So minus 27 because cube of negative is negative minus 3 into 9 that is minus 27 minus into minus plus plus 30 plus 24 further when you'll solve it minus 52 4 and plus 54 will cancel and you'll get 0 so we can say minus uh, 3 is also the 0 of this given polynomial because it is equal to 0 right and therefore uh, we can say that x plus 3 is one of the factors why because x minus minus 3 if you solve it, you will get x plus 3, right? So over here, x plus 3 is also one of the factors which we have got. Now let us uh, move on to fourth, 4 uh, as one of the factors and replace x by 4. So 4 cube minus 3 into 4 square minus 10 into 4 plus 24. Further, when you'll solve, you'll get 64 minus 48 minus 40 plus 24. And if you'll solve it, minus 24 and plus 24 will get get cancelled you are left with 0 so because p4 is also equal to 0 so one another factor we have got is x minus 4 right so this is the third factor you can say we have got it so always note that the number of factors does not exceed the degree of the polynomial here the degree is 3 here the degree of a cubic polynomial is 3 therefore the factors also will be 3 right so thus by above method of substituting or you can say hit and trial we have used all the factors whatever uh, possible factors we could get of 24 we have tried with all and the three zeros which we got is 2 minus 3 and 4 and therefore we can say the factors are x minus 2 x plus 3 and x minus 4 right based on uh, the factor theorem which says that if p a is equal to 0 then the factor is x minus a right so based on that we have got these factors so the answer is the factorization of this cubic polynomial is x minus 2 x plus 3 and x minus 4 now let us learn about the second method of factorizing cubic polynomials this method is called factor method followed by long division method in this method, one of the factor is obtained by factor method. That means we are using factor theorem basically, which says that if you replace x by a, right, in the given polynomial and the value you get is 0, then we can say that x minus a is one of the factors of this given polynomial, right? So we can obtain one factor using factor method. Then the given polynomial is divided by this factor which we have obtained by long division method. That means the given polynomial becomes our dividend. The factor becomes our divisor, right? And we divide them by long division method. Now we shall get a question. Now if the question is a quadratic polynomial, then it is factorized using splitting the middle term, right? As we have learned in the previous video also how to factorize quadratic polynomials by splitting the middle term. And if it is not a quadratic polynomial, it is a cubic or further by quadratic polynomial, then it is factorized by factor theorem method. That means again, we are going to find the zero of the polynomial, right? Now, let us take an example. So, I have taken the same example which I had taken for hit and trial method. We have to factorize the given polynomial px, which is x cube minus 3x square minus 10x plus 24. So, first step is to find one of the factors. For one of the factors, we will again take the constant term that is 24, find the factors of that constant term, which are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, plus minus 8, plus minus 12. And now we are going to find the zeros of the polynomial by 
but replacing x by these factors. So basically now we are going to check which of the above factors were zeros of the polynomial by replacing x by first 1. 1 cube minus 3 into 1 square minus 10 into 1 plus 24 which is equal to 1 minus 3 minus 10 plus 24 which is equal to minus 12 plus 24 which is equal to 12. So it is not equal to 0. Right. Next we shall try with minus 1. Minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 10 into minus 1 plus 24 which is equal to minus 1 minus 3 plus 10 plus 24 6 plus 24 is equal to 30 this is also not equal to 0. Now we shall try with 2 so 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square minus 10 into 2 plus 24 which is equal to 8 into minus 12 sorry 8 minus 12 minus 20 plus 24 now minus 24 and plus 24 will cancel and we are gets, getting 0. So we can say 2 is the 0 of the given polynomial therefore x minus 2 is one of the factors of the given polynomial right because we are getting 0 as the value of the polynomial at x is equal to 2. So x minus 2 is the factor of this given polynomial by factor theorem. So after obtaining one factor now we are going to the next step that is long division we are going to divide the given polynomial by this factor right and further when we'll get the quotient as quadratic polynomial we shall factorize it using splitting the middle term method now let me show long division method of dividing the given polynomial which is the dividend by the factor that is x minus 2 now we know that x should be multiplied to x square to get x cube so our question is x square and the product we will get is x cube minus 2x square now further change the sign plus will become minus minus will become plus further cancel plus x cube and minus x cube minus 3x square and plus 2x square will give you minus x square now further bring down minus 10x so our new dividend now is minus x square minus 10x so what should be multiplied to x to get minus x square that is minus x minus x into x will give you minus x square minus x into minus 2 will give you plus 2x now further change the signs and uh, this will cancel minus x square and plus x square will cancel further minus 10x and minus 2x will give us minus 12x now further bring out bring down plus 24 now we shall multiply with minus 12 to get minus 12x plus 24 change the signs minus 12x and plus 12x will cancel even plus 24 and minus 24 will cancel we are left with 0 so we can say the question is x square minus x minus 12 and the remainder is 0 over here now after doing long division method we divided the given polynomial by the divisor x minus 2 we got the question x square minus x minus 12 and remainder is 0. The division algorithm says that the dividend is equal to divisor into question plus remainder and when the remainder is 0 as in this case we can say that the given polynomial px is the product of these two factors that is divisor and question right it is the product of divisor and question when the remainder is 0. So the given polynomial is equal to divisor that is x minus 2 and the quotient which we have calculated by long division method x square minus x minus 12 x minus 2 we had calculated by factor method x square minus x minus 12 we have got by long division method now this is a quadratic polynomial which we will solve by splitting the middle term now middle term is minus x minus x or we can say minus 1x and the constant term over here is minus 12 what should be the two numbers two integers such that their sum is minus 1 and their product is minus 12 so factors of 12 if you see 12 can be 3 into 4 is also 12 right 6 into 2 is also 12 12 into 1 is also 12 now which combination of plus and minus are is going to give us minus 1 as the sum and the product as minus 12 right so clearly if I say uh, minus 4 and plus 3 minus 4 
and plus 3 minus 1 and minus 4 into 3 will give me minus 12 right so I can split my minus x as minus 4x and plus 3x right this is known as splitting the middle term I have discussed this in the previous video also you can check out uh, the previous videos so over here x minus 2 is one of the factors and now the quadratic polynomial is written as x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 now over here x minus 2 as it is and over here x is common let us make the pairs and we are going to take the HCF or you can say the common factor outside x is the common factor inside we are left with x minus 4 3 is common because 3 into 1 and uh, 12 is 3 into 4 so 3 is common x minus 4 over here now x minus 4 is over here also x into x minus 4 and 3 into x minus 4 so x minus 4 can be taken common inside we are left with x and 3 so and with plus sign of course so x plus 3 so the factors are x minus 2 x minus 4 x plus 3 right so these are the three factors which we have got of the given polynomial this method is known as factor method followed by long division method and then of course then afterwards after we get a question as quadratic polynomial we are also using splitting of the middle term right so this is how we got three factors we wanted three factors because it's a cubic polynomial it has degree uh, three so we will have three factors right so this is known as factor method followed by long division method first method was factor method followed by hit and trial method in that also we are using factor method but many times we are finding the zeros of the polynomial over here only one factor we have calculated and then afterwards we have moved to long division method that is the only difference between these two methods okay so this is it children hope you have understood both these methods of factorizing cubic polynomials in the next video we shall be taking questions based on this concept that is the question 5 of ncrt 2.4 thank you everyone have a great day ahead